Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today I am presenting the extension lesson for the Edition Snake Game. Now, if you have not watched the previous Snake Game lesson that I've done, you need to go back and watch that first. That's the original lesson, that's the lesson that needs to come before this extension, and that's where I also explain to you a lot of the theory and the order and sequence for the lessons for this presentation. So if you haven't watched that yet, I'll drop the link down below in the comments section and you can go ahead and watch that first and then come back to this video. So with that being said, let's jump into this lesson. Now this is a group four presentation that's in the exploration and memorization of math facts section of the AMI Montessori album. And just keep in mind that when we are doing this lesson, in that section of the album, the snake game is all about exploration. So if you're seeing that your student is making some small mistakes, don't interrupt them. Just allow them to keep counting. If they're really getting stuck, if they're not understanding the concept of this lesson, then sure, go ahead and represent it again at a different time. But at the same time, um, I'm just going to let you know that when I was going through training and my trainer was presenting these extension lessons for the snake game, even she messed up. This variation of the snake game is very easy to make a mistake on and you'll notice that in yourself. So if your student makes a mistake, I wouldn't worry about it too much because really this is all about the exploration and not only that, we do give a control of error for this lesson. So they'll be able to check their work then when, when they are finished and they're gonna be able to see if they made a mistake. With that being said, let me also explain that uh, not only is this a second way to present the snake game lesson, but for specifically for addition, we have a second type of control of error to check the work on this one. That's unique to the addition snake game. That's not something that we do in the subtraction snake game. So for this extension lesson, in the addition snake game, we are going to present it a little differently and we're also going to give a control of error that's different from our first presentation. So this presentation of the addition snake game is called two by two or in isolation. As you can see, just like in our other lesson, we have our nice colored snake and just like in the uh, previous edition snake game lesson, our goal is to turn this into a golden snake because we are making combinations of 10. And of course, 10 is our golden bead. So we are going to make a golden snake just like last time, but we're just going to make it look a little bit different. So when we talk about starting the snake game for this extension lesson, we're going to call it two by two or in isolation. And we're just going to take two at a time and we're going to isolate them and we're gonna count them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, stop. So just like last time, once we get to 10, we stop and exchange it for a golden bead. So here we've exchanged it, but we still have one left, right? So just like before, we get our placeholder and there's our leftover, right? So we take this out. These we're gonna save for our control of error, just like last time. And now we're gonna put it back into the snake. And that's essentially the difference in this part of the snake game is we're just going to isolate them two at a time. So let's bring the next two back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So we didn't get to 10 this time. All of this together makes six. So we can't get a golden bar yet, but we can go up here, get one of our black and whites, right? And so we're gonna keep that, put this one back in our inverted triangle. We're gonna keep our colored bead in our box right here. And then this goes back up into the snake. Now, just remember, we always start counting with a colored bead or a black and white bead, never from the golden bead. So let's, so let's bring this one back down and bring the next two together, right? So let's count. 
So we know that this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. There's our 10. And we have two left. So we have our two placeholder right here. Let's put our black and white back. Let's put our colored bead back in our box to save for our control of error. Let's put this back. And now we have to bring these back down two by two. And sometimes it's easy to forget to bring them down. That's what makes this just a little bit tricky is bringing them down into isolation. Sometimes you just keep counting and you keep going and you forget to bring them down. So that can be the tricky part right there. But it's much easier with the addition snake game than it is with the subtraction snake game. That one does get a little trickier. So this is pretty easy right here, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, stop, right? So we have to go back up here, find our six. Got to get our placeholder. We're going to keep the colored bead. Put the two back. Bring our snake back together and then bring it back down, right? I like putting it that way. All right, so we've got our five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Ten. And then how many did we have left? We have one left over. Right there. So our black and white goes back, colored bead goes here, put our snake back together, right? And as you can see, just like before, we're turning our rainbow snake into a golden snake. So bring our next two down in isolation. And there's one, two, three, four, five. We don't have enough to make a golden bead, but we do have enough for our placeholder. So we're going to grab our black placeholder with the five beads on it. Put that back there. Make sure to put your colored bead back in the box to save for your control of error. Now let's make our snake, right? Here we go. It's getting more golden all the time. So let's bring our next two down. So right here we know this is five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. We have our golden. We can bring that here. We have one left over. Grab our placeholder. Put our black one back. Put our colored bead back in our box. And... There we go, put our snake back together. And now let's bring down our next ones, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, stop. Not enough to make a golden 10, but we have enough for our placeholder right here, our six. And let's put that back. We're almost done, right? So let's bring this back down in isolation. There we go. So we know this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. We've got our ten. We've exchanged it. One, two, three is our leftover. So right here, we'll put that back. We're going to take this off, put it back. And we have finished our snake. Now, sometimes if you make a perfect combination of 10 all the way through, it'll be completely golden. But if you have any leftovers, you keep it in the black beads. The black and white beads stay right there. Now here, we're gonna go to the control of error number two. This is where we are going to discover whether or not we did it right. Okay. So here we are, we're gonna do our control of error. Now, it's gonna look a little bit different this time. If you're Montessori trained, this control of error is going to look a little bit like another lesson that comes later on. 
and that is still in group four, but it's called the bead bar layout. So when we're doing this control of error, it's gonna look more like the multiplication bead bar layout lesson, which comes in this box right here. I have not done that lesson yet. It's on my list of things to do. So maybe when I get done with the snake games, we'll go into the bead bar layout with this, but this control of error, the second control of error that we're doing with the addition snake game today, that actually is going to look a lot like the lesson that goes with this bead bar layout. So I will get around to doing that bead bar layout uh, after I do the extension lesson for the snake game, but I'm also going to start a series on grammar. So I will have it out. It's just whether or not I get it out before December. So let's get back to doing the second control of error for the extension lesson on the addition snake game. And at this point we have our golden beads and our leftover, our remaining black beads right here. And now we're just gonna empty out our box of colored beads that we have saved from our game. So bring those out. Gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna look for the largest one. Now I didn't use very many because I didn't wanna make this a super long video. So we're just gonna start with the biggest set of beads right here. So these are our seven bars right here. So that's the largest one I put in this snake game. So we're gonna start with that right there. And next comes our one, two, three, four, five, six. Our six bars. We're gonna line it up like that. And then let's see here. Got our fives. And then our fours. And I made this a pretty simple lesson, so that's all I have. So as you see, we're gonna put them by category and line them up just like this. Now, you are also going to need, for this control of error, your box of extra colored beads. These are the ones that we started with before the game. They are not the ones we saved during the game. So this is just our extra spare colored beads that we did not use so far for this game. You're gonna need that for some exchanging. So make sure that's available because we're gonna have to do some exchanging here. And so we're just gonna start with our largest one and we are gonna start counting. And every time we get to 10, we're gonna go ahead and get that 10 bar again and then whatever's left over, we're gonna have to get a colored bead. And I'll show you how that works right now. So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, stop. So we've got 10 right here, right? We've got one, two, three, four left. Now I'm gonna hold off on using this black bead right now. I have four left, so that's not enough for a golden bead. Let me move this over. That's not enough for a golden bead, right? So we're gonna to have to break it. Only, you can't break the golden beads, that would be terrible. So instead, let's break it by exchanging it, right? So we need a four. So we need to come over here to our box. We need a four because that's what's left over. So let me see, where are our fours at? I have a four right here. So see, four. And if I have four, right? One, two, three, four. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need a six. All right, well, let's see here. I've got a six right here. And that's what's left over. So we have broken our golden beads by exchanging it for our extra colored beads. And what we can do with this now is put it back in its golden bead box. We're finished with it. So that's all done. So we're gonna keep going now. This one's done. So this is 14, right? And this is also 14. So it just shows two different ways we can make the number 14. Let's do the same thing for the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, stop, right? We've, we do have a 10, so we can do that. Now we have two left and I don't have a two up here, so but I do have a six and we can exchange that, right? So I'm gonna start with a two. Here's a two, 
right? I've got two left. And if I have that, how many is left over? Well, I have a four that's left over. So we'll put that back up there. There we go. So six and six is 12, 10 and two is also 12, right? There's two different ways to show it. Now let's go right here to our fives. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, stop. Golden 10 right here. How many's left over? One, two, three, four, five. I've got five left over. Let's see. I don't have much left over, but I bet I can make a five if I do four, five right here. Right, that makes five. And then I have two left over right there. So I need another two. This we'll put back with our inverted pyramid. We're gonna put that right there. This comes down here, and that can go back over here. All right, so five, 10, 15, right? This makes 15, this also makes 15. Let's go to our fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Okay. I've got my ten bar right there. And how many do I have left over? Two. So this is 12. This is also 12. And look at that. Everything matched up. So that means I actually did it right, which... It's not always easy when you're trying to focus on the camera and give the lesson at the same time. So I'm glad that worked out. Not too many speed bumps in this lesson. So that was pretty simple and that's everything. So we did the extension lesson for the addition snake game. And now we've done the second control of error, which is very similar to the multiplication bead bar layout, which I will make sure and record for you I can't say if it's gonna be before Christmas, but definitely I'm gonna get around to it, but I'm gonna be switching between working on these math lessons and also presenting some grammar lessons for you. So hopefully I'll get that out soon enough. But that's the addition snake game extension lesson with, this, with the second control of error. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'm going to put a link in down below, like I said before, to the original edition snake game that I have uh, on my channel already. And I'm also going to put in a link down in the comment section below to Montessori Print Shop because what they have are some um, templates for the snake game. And if you want to practice at home, if you don't have the money to buy all these beads, which can get very expensive. At least Montessori Print Shop offers a paper version of the snake game, and you can cut that up, you can laminate it. I know it's not as nice as having the physical beads, but that's reality for you, right? We can't always afford everything for the Montessori environment, and we just have to make things work the best we can. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you like it. If you have, please hit that like button. And also remember to share this video. That really helps my channel grow. And of course, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.